Hey everyone. So as you can see, we're back with another video. And so today I am just going to be doing a review on the Sendale um, transfer paper, the DTF transfer paper, just so you guys can get a idea and feel of how it is. Um, but before we jump into this video, I do just want to introduce myself for the newcomers who have never been to my platform before. So my name is Ashley and what I do is I help other crafters like yourself um, and I show you guys like the tips and tricks and hacks and different things like that that I come across and just so you guys can see them and I show you how to do them. Also, I give business tips and I help people with different things such as like logos and websites and stuff for their business. I also do create like designs um, that I you guys will see in my videos. I'm pretty much like the jack of all trades. I do a bit, a little bit of everything, but for the most part, I try to keep this channel for crafting. Again, I just show you guys the different um, hacks and stuff that are out there that involve crafting. Also, I show you guys the different things that I do and learn when it comes to pressing, printing, DTF hacks, and just different things like that. So if you ever have any questions or if you ever want to check out any of the videos that I do, I also do like tutorials to show you guys how to do um, things like how to maneuver through Canva or how to create journals, just anything that you could think of that involves crafting. I show you guys how to do it. Um, if you are new here, I thank you for visiting my channel if you could i just ask that you hit that like button and the subscribe also hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss the videos that i post because they are very helpful and very informational and you do get a lot of gems from the videos that i post to all my subscribers who continue to watch me over and over again i do just want to thank you and i appreciate you continue to come back with me and see all the things that I do here and just continue to watch the channel grow. So without further ado, we are just going to go ahead and jump into this video so you guys can see my thoughts and opinion on the Sendale, Sendale I think I'm saying that right, um, DTF, uh, the DTF transfer sheets. All right, guys, so let's dig in. Okay, so right here, what I'm doing is I am looking for a design that I want to go ahead and print on the transfer sheet. So I do want to use a colorful, vibrant image. So that is what I'm going to look for here. So that way you guys can get a feel of all the colors when I print this. And you'll see the different things that I like and don't like about the transfer sheet that I'm going to show you. So I think I want to use this design right here. It does have some colors in here that I think would be really good for you guys to see on the transfer sheet. So we're going to go ahead and before we decide to print this out, we are going to go ahead and prep our transfer sheet. And then once we prepare it and get it ready for the printer, I'm going to go ahead and print this image. So I'm going to show you guys how I am going to prepare the transfer sheet. So because my printer is like a smaller size and it only prints um, like a 8 by 11 sheet of paper, I have to downsize this transfer sheet um, because this is a I believe a 13 by 19. So what I like to do is I go ahead and line up a standard size sheet of paper, as you guys can see, 
and I'll just go ahead and cut around it. I know it's kind of wasteful and I'm just wasting paper, but this is the only way I can do this until I get a bigger printer. All right, so also another thing that I like to do is I like to tape um, this actual paper to the transfer sheet because the printer doesn't usually read this, um, the DTF film. So I try to use this to make it thicker for the rollers to catch it. Now, here is... I'm sure you guys can see this is the film that I'm talking about right here that I'm using the Sendale and you see it it doesn't really give you much detail as to how you can tell which if you're printing on the right side or not I know usually films, they come with um, like some type of sign where you know to print on which side. Even though this says print side, the way that I'm doing it is hard to know still if I'm printing on the right side. So I usually try to make sure I'm really careful when printing. But I can tell you right off the bat with this paper, um, it's probably good with the actual DTF printers, but with the hack that I'm doing, it doesn't really do so good. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that when I say it doesn't really do so good. So right now I'm just going to take these two together and I'm going to put them in my printer. And when I insert this into the printer, you usually want this side up. So that way when it comes through the printer, it a uh, print out on this side. So I have the painter's tape, as you can see. I'm just gonna go ahead and use that to tape it down, because usually that holds a little weight too. And you always wanna put it as far as you can at the top, because you don't want your image to get Print it. You don't want the ink to print on the tape. All right, so now we're going to take this over to the printer. So here I'm just going to put the paper in here and feed it through so that way I can go ahead and get this job started. I had to move my printer onto, on the floor, so bear with me. Okay, so here I am just going to download the image so that way I can print it. I always do transparency and I always print um, with PNG. I'm gonna go ahead and download that and wait for it to download. All right, so here we have it here, as you guys can see. Look at those beautiful colors. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and print it. And so I'm going to go ahead and connect it to my Epson. I already know what settings that I want. And I know the previous settings that this was already on. So if I wanted to, I could just hit less use print settings. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to give you guys a small walkthrough of the printing settings that I use. So here I'm just going to scale this a little bit and make it bigger. I don't really need to, but I kind of want to. So right, we're going to do 55. Mm, let's try 45. Mm. Let's try 43. All right, we're going to keep it at 43. 
All right, so the settings that I want to use, and I'm going to do a close up. So I'm going to go ahead and do color options. Right now, I'm going to go to the. I don't know why. All right, so for some reason it's not letting me click on my event. Okay, there it go. Just a little slow. So with the advanced settings and color options, you do want to have it on Adobe RGB. You want it on 2.2. I don't never usually mess with these, so I'm not going to. Then I'm going to go ahead to print settings. And I'm going to check the type of paper that I have. I usually always keep it on premium presentation paper mat just because it works for me. You can change it and see what works for you. I always want to keep it on best quality and then I mirror the image. That's really all I do with the printing settings. And then from there, I'm just going to go ahead and hit print on my image and then it's going to go ahead and print out. So right here, you can see it's coming out the printer. And you can see how those colors are beautiful, but a little dull. They will brighten up when we use the DTF powder and we um, heat the powder up. Once we do that with the powder and heat it up, you'll be able to see the colors come out better than what they look like now. Okay, so what I'm about to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put the powder on here so that I can coat this and get it on the press because you don't want to waste too much time with this part because it will, the ink does dry. So you want to make sure you get that powder on there quickly and get it to your heater oven or your press. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and get this coated. I mean, not coat. I already have it coated. I'm going to go ahead and heat it up. And I usually keep it on 400 and I leave it there for about a minute or two. Ignore the 26 seconds. That's usually how long I press my shirts for. But right now I'm just trying to heat up the film. All right. That was about a minute. As you can see, those colors look so beautiful. They look so just amazing. And that's how you want your transfer sheet to look after it gets done getting heated. So because this is just a test print, I'm all about saving my shirts and money. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a shirt that I already did a design on just to show you guys this test print. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to go ahead and cover the image with the um, parchment paper. And then I'm going to go ahead, you can call it a parchment paper Teflon sheet. Everybody has a different name for it. And I'm gonna go ahead and press this down on 400 for 26 seconds. Okay, so we do have the image heated here. Um, I am going to go ahead and remove it from the press um just so it can cool down because this is a cold peel we have it down on the shirt again this is just a test run so i am using a shirt that i already did a design on but a few things that i wanted to point out to you about this sheet now i don't know if it's because i'm doing like the dtf hat and i should be actually trying it on you know an actual dtf printing machine I noticed like when I just use like a one color, it does leave streaks on my image. As you can see, I do have some streaks and smearing here, but I think that's because I pulled it out the printer. But I, I believe I have a sheet that I can show you guys where that black ink didn't do so well or just like a single color print. I'm going to show you, but we're going to let this cool down for a second. Okay, so I did tell you guys I was going to show you test prints that I already did with this film and I should with the single colors like 
this wasn't the actual color that I printed when I that I used when I printed this out. Here is the black one. As you can see, like all these streaks that I have in this single color image. Now, when I use the A sub film, when I use this film right here, I don't have to worry about those streaks, these streaks that I get, even with a single image, single color image. But it seems to be only happening with the black because the pink actually didn't do that. But it is happening on here because, like I said, with the A-Sub DCF film, this doesn't happen. So maybe I might have to do some troubleshooting. But I just wanted to show you guys the difference in it. And it's almost time to peel the other design. So we're going to jump right back to that. Okay, so here is the image that I printed out, and this is how it looks. Again, I do not like this transfer film. It was hard pulling this up when I went to peel it in. The transfer sheet cooled down pretty fast, which is a good thing. So it was cold, but it was still hard to pull up. But this is the results that I got from it. You guys can try this out if you want, but that was just my take and my issues with the Sindel transfer film, the DTF transfer film. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was my take on the Sindel transfer film, DTF transfer film. Overall results, I... Uh, prefer the ASAP DTF film over the Sendale because again, it really didn't do the job for me for this hack. Maybe again, it may work for, it may work better for the actual DTF printers, but for the hack that I have, it doesn't do me any justice. And I feel like it definitely would be a disappointment for my customers. Um, and I feel like I would be continuing to do like the job over and over and over just to perfect it. And so that would be a no for me. If you guys have experience with the Sendell DTF film and you want to give me your opinion or your advice with it, or if there's ways around trying to make sure you are continuing to print on the right side, always feel free to drop the comments down below. And also make sure you guys just go ahead and subscribe if you're new and hit the like and share button if you will. Also comment down below and tell me some ideas you guys would like me to do. Or if you just want to shout your opinion or your piece on anything that I've done today, go ahead and shoot those in the comments as well. Again, don't forget to also hit that notification bell for more videos like these. I do have something special coming up for you guys very, very soon. So stay tuned on the lookout for that. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care.